Hey guys, welcome back. We have a another submission here for a paint over from Kevin Chong. This was thrown up on the RPG lounge over on Discord. Uh, I will leave a link to that in the description if you're interested in joining. So Kevin has kindly let me do a paint over on this. So this is the image before and then with a few changes and different ideas is this is what I kind of landed on. So I'm just going to run through some of the decision making and maybe some ideas that would help the painting. So I'm just going to turn off some of the layers here. So um, my initial thought when I saw this first was that it just felt fairly like raw 3D. Like there is a little bit of, there's a few changes and things like a bit more atmosphere and stuff that Kevin's added in here and like some extra birds and things and um, but yeah it's all quite raw it, it needs a lot more like painting over and kind of integration um, and then like we we have these kind of huts and things sitting on these like coral pieces attached to the tree and um, so well I'll run through it in the layers anyway but my idea was like there, there just maybe feels like too many there and maybe we could simplify that and then we we need to think about the actual design how would this place function um so yeah so yeah just one of the first changes was just before checking the values um I was just pushing that tree back a little bit more I felt very dark in relation to um the surrounding elements and then just another little bit of atmosphere here at the top also this bridge was just really sitting on top of that tree in the middle value wise and this is a fair bit closer to us in terms of the elements in the painting so just those few little changes there to um, separate things out a bit and knock that back so when we get into the changes then um, let's start down here actually I need to turn all these off first okay so yeah one of the first changes was I was just looking at the sky and um, the value back at the back here was like really uh, kind of hot white and it's a bit of a sunset kind of time of day so unless the sun is Kind of here um but you also have it over here as well so it's just a little bit too hot so that really needs to be knocked back in my opinion and let me just turn off this right there we go also if we look at the mountains the mountains aren't really playing an important part in the overall story of this image so the frequency of detail so if we just hone in on say this section like there's so many little bumps on the mountain and it's just quite distracting like even on this one like uh, so we can try and stylize that and just simplify it down so just it's not as uh, attention seeking and then i've just gone in and added in another layer of separation behind that tree at the back and some of these elements here just we get a few lost edges behind the trees and some of the mountains then blend in a bit more so then yeah the mountains all felt a bit warm as well so I thought maybe what if the base of them were in a bit more shadow so we'd get a bit of a transition you've probably seen this in some sunset images where you get this lovely cold light um, at the base of a mountain and then it's just the peaks are being hit by the light and it just creates a pretty uh, beautiful effect so maybe we could use a little bit of that and then I've added a bit more shadow into the foreground yeah the grass here like yeah the grass the idea I think when you're using now opinions can change on this and it depends on what the goal is but for a lot of concept art um, I think if you're just using raw 3d you know you can bring it to another extra little level if you go in and actually simplify some of that 3d down or disguise it 
at least the sky is the 3D a bit, so the viewer isn't quite sure what's 3D, what's painting, what's a bit of photo. It's all just kind of integrated into an eye-pleasing image. So yeah, I'd try and keep that in mind. Get rid of any of these elements that feel quite 3D looking. And yeah, I've just gone in with a few little highlights then, maybe where the sun's just um, hitting off the grass around the areas where the viewer would be looking, obviously the character first. And then I've added in another little bit of atmosphere. If it's that time of day, perhaps we get a bit more of a red glow in the sky. So here, when I'm talking about like simplifying the 3D, Yeah, so I've just done a few brush strokes here, but yeah, it's just simplifying some of that down. A few nice gestural brush strokes to um, knock that back, get rid of the 3D feel. And then, yeah, in terms of the architecture and the design of the huts, what if, so you have all these coral pieces. So what if we actually use those within the architecture what if like what if they've carved into these trees and they live within the trees rather than on these kind of huts placed on the coral like you could do this as well but you need to f like there needs to be like little structures kind of linking them all together like they were all just if you look at this like they're all just kind of floating there on their own maybe there is a way into the tree from within those huts but the viewer can't really tell that from what's happening here so you know maybe we can suggest that like this part's carved out here and there's a bit of light coming from within the tree and then the doorway is actually made out of this coral-esque kind of um, design and then you can new reuse that motif around your image as well um, so yeah that's just one of those ideas and then also um, all the coral pieces are kind of yeah they're pretty much the same size and they're they're kind of just uh, the way they're scattered um, could be done in a nicer way perhaps so um, one of the ways we can do that is by having some larger pieces mixed in and some smaller pieces and also just knocking back some of the extra ones that are there and maybe there's just a few extra ones around where the entrance ways are another idea you could use is so you know if you start thinking about what way these guys are living in this place you know maybe they've uh, harnessed the coral fungus stuff to the benefit them so maybe they've made like ladders and other architectural pieces out of that coral so yeah maybe you've got a ladder up here and maybe they use that throughout their um architecture um, well, we'll talk about this bridge later as well. I did actually take that out in kind of the final edit. Um, but, you know, maybe they'd have a bridge as well that was made up of coral in some way. But you'd need to really go in and do a few sketches and break out um, kind of designs to figure that out. And so, yeah, that's just a little dark in there to knock them back. They're like right at the corners of the image. So. Um, we'll just knock them back value wise or a little value adjustment at the base there continuing that idea with the mixture and size of the coral pieces so you're getting that big medium and small ratio so you could say this piece is like 70% you've got a 20% and then you've got like a 5% uh, or a 10% whatever um, where you want to break them up and then maybe we see some like candlelight or firelight from within the tree uh, suggesting that you know there's something going on in there there's someone living there there's a bit of life to the place and just continuing that idea over here then just simplifying those down now I didn't do that on these ones back here but I mean you could continue that yourself if you wanted and then yeah we have the character so you can instantly just get uh yeah to me like the character is just feeling quite big like the scale here could probably do with some adjusting so just bear in mind 
like when you have your human in there we're getting that scale read so you could just scale them down a bit more and all of a sudden this environment feels a lot bigger and all the pieces within it so um yeah i've taken out the bridges because i just felt like they didn't really fit they just felt a bit weird they need a bit more kind of thought i think a bit more design so i've just taken them out for the moment um yeah like i said perhaps they're made up in some way of some kind of fungus maybe there's a bit more structure at the base of these like some more of these coral step ladders that kind of thing um like i said it just doesn't really feel quite integrated at the moment uh, or the image that you sent before but this is just maybe one way you could take it um i've added in an extra bit of glow there at the back just to push those reds and some extra uh, just some overlay layers for the shadow as well to enhance that a bit more and then just a little bit of shadow at the front and a little bit of color balance knock back those as well with a bit more atmosphere like so for over here for example like those values are really blending together so just yeah just to push them back a little bit more so i'll turn that off so yeah those would be a few things to bear in mind um, just think about how you could integrate or oh, something i didn't mention was you know you have these coral pieces here so what if the character had you know he's got this his magic stick and <laughs> what if that's got some kind of coral design as well or fungi kind of design and also like the horse was just bare back there so you know give the horse some extra design and um, it's obviously could be carrying this person's supplies all that kind of crack so um, yeah just think about more integration with your image and um, more design I'm just trying to get it all cohesive but yeah it's a it was a cool starting point and um, I've just grabbed a couple of images here from ArtStation and um, I'll link to these artists now in the in the description if you're interested but yeah like maybe this is something you could think about you know before jumping into something like this full image a few sketches of maybe what the architecture is like or what would the coral pieces of architecture look like integrated onto the tree or what would they look like before that so just like a few of those little breakout pages could really help you then with your final image and um, so this is a painting by Ethan Zanet but in terms of the grass, like the grass has all this personality and different shapes within it. Some of it's simplified, some of it has these little color shifts, like the hue shifts, and it just gives a lovely effect. Some of it's really simplified back, like over here. So, you know, get an image up like this beside you while you're painting and just see if you can replicate something like this when you're um tackling different parts of the image um, and then that's one more from Jama uh Jirabav. he's used a mixer brush here on the grass so he's actually painting over the 3d here but with a mixer brush and then with brush strokes as well just from a normal brush like you can see them here it's kind of a chalky effect um so that's another thing as well and like you're not quite sure if that's all painted or if it's all 3d so that's that it's just a nice kind of goal to aim for when you're working with this and it's just a lot more pleasing to the eye so i hope you found that helpful uh, kevin and um continue the great work definitely some solid progress and if anyone else fancies getting an image painted over uh, throw them up on the discord and i'll see what ones i can get to and what I would feel would be beneficial. Um, so yeah, one other thing you might be able to do is like uh, the character might feel a little bit doesn't quite fit in the environment that I'm in. So just if the light is coming from top left or off screen, you know the back of the character would obviously be in a bit more shadow. So maybe you could give it give them a bit more rim light then at the front. I'm just doing this real quick and dirty here so yeah just 
you know, maybe there's something like that in the front of the character, you know what I mean? So just, yeah, pay attention to the shadows and where the light is coming from, just to help integrate them now. That might be a bit strong, but um, I think you would get my point. Yeah, I'd knock that multiply back a little bit, maybe. So, yeah, there we go. I uh, hope you found that useful and I will see you in the next one guys. Thanks for watching.